It's nothing personal, I just like sticking my fist in weird holes I find around the place. It sounds a bit lewd, it's not, I promise. It's like the exact opposite of lewd, truthfully. You good? Jesus. Oh, fuck's sake. I've just literally stuck my fist in something. Can you not? Can you not? Can you not? Oh. Oh, he didn't. Nice. I'm guessing he can actually see the light. Alright, I can't see diddly squat. I was like, Christ, see you again. Eat me, strange creature. I don't think you can follow in here. Mainly because I believe they didn't give him an animation to do so. Haha, -ha, I win, you lose. You can't come through vents. Weird. After Alien Isolation, vents gave me the Ouija's, but now I can just sort of, uh... You know, waltz through here. Okay, one final area I'm guessing. There were three proxies, this is the third area, I'm assuming we'll run into another one. Oh hey dude. I told you I don't speak foo foo, for God's sake. People just don't listen anymore. Me no comprende foo foo. Though I did speak very, very poor Spanish when I went to Spain. It's like, hola, poor favor. I'm just like, it's, I believe people just were like, oh, it's just an ignorant Englishman, don't worry. Okay. So where is our friendly neighborhood jerk? There. Okay. Now, which direction are you going to go? You can done this way, you're gonna go around the corner. I believe in you. Go around the corner. Be a fine man. Blob, monster, toothbrush thing. Satan bogey. Or just stand there. In the way. Obnoxiously. Slow as you please. Oh, now you come back this way. This is the way I need to go, can you not? Is there something I can pick up here? Oh, he's just leaving. Cool. Maybe he'll go past and I can sneak past him. We're like Solid Snake. Well, we're probably more like Solid Snail, honestly. We've been hit a few times. Huh? What was that noise, says the weird freaky leg bogey monster monstrosity toothbrush that waddles its way past. Fine legs, though. 10 out of 10. Alright, where did you go, then? Down that way? That's probably the way I need to go, isn't it? I just realised I stepped into the light. This is probably a dumb idea. Look, you, Fufu -fu speaker, don't give me away. Oh bollocks. Ah, uh, stupid, stupid thing to do. Please don't smack me. Be a friend. I'm not sure which one of these acres. You all look the same, but, uh... I don't mean that in a negative, awkward kind of way, either. I mean, once you've seen one hunchback monstrosity toothbrush with legs, you've seen them all, haven't you? Not that my toothbrush looks like this guy. I don't know why I call him a toothbrush. Either way, peace. Alright, please don't give me away. Nice, she opened this one for me. God, I might be able to actually see again.
Fabulous. Did I just open up a door? I need to go through. Or did I just enact the wrath of every blob monster around? Or a bit of column A, a bit of column B. Well surely, if you're drawn to noise, you're going to go towards the panel, aren't you? Not me. So I can sneak past you and go the, to the locked door, which I can probably go through now. I can't even see you. Oh, shit. Sorry! Not that you should be homing in on me, I might add. Friggin' proxies! Okay, well, it's fine with the noise now, which is good, so I just need to sneak past it. Man, Catherine's gonna be so excited when I tell her about this, and I go, Yo, Catherine, guess what happened? She's gonna be like, Look, Simon, we don't have any time to talk about anything you want to talk about. Let me tell you about my ARC project. No, Catherine, you're very boring. Let me tell you about my day. It was far more exciting. I dodged three nudists who liked to do me in. That is incredibly exciting. They were very rude nudists while they're at it. Beep. Finally, I can see. Ouch! Oh, I forgot I can breathe underwater. Oh, but I can't swim. <laughs> Durr. Alright, first of all, let's get out of here. I guess my lady body is very heavy. I don't know. So I should probably talk to Catherine about, among some of the other many important things that would be quite useful, like how sturdy I am. Can I take much punishment? Why do these things not killing me? What happened to humanity? Why did humanity end like that? I guess none of these things are relevant when you're making the ARC project anymore. Why are we wibbling? Why are we wibbling? Why did that give us wibble? What, you saying me you don't like heights? You just ran past three nudist bogey monsters and you're telling me you don't like heights? Oh, come off it. Don't buy that for a sodding minute. I mean, did you see those nudists? They were ridiculously nude. Alright. Really? Really? You didn't just think not to drop off the end of the ladder and check where your feet were first? Well, as that was concrete, you would have been possibly maybe hurt depending on how durable we are. Okay, we need to, I'm guessing, get over to access uh, 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 auxiliary tunnels, which is that way. I'm guessing we can't jump on these things to get across where we need to go. I mean, that would be really convenient. God damn inconveniences. Okay, well... It made sense going across where I was going before. Uh, I, at the very least I could see what I was doing over that way. There's a ladder there, but that just took me to where I was. Okay, back up then. Come on. Come on, Simon, your brain is the only one keeping you going at this point. I'm very nice like that, but at the same time... You know, I gotta get paid. And by pay, I mean get rid of these ladders. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, right, well, first of all, we need to work out how to get through this friggin' room. I mean, we could go that way if we could get up there. Uh, there's a ladder there onto that. We could work our way across onto the scaffold and climb up there across. That might be the best way to go. I mean, truthfully, at least we know we can get a good height advantage up here, so let's at least see what we're looking at. I mean, going up wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Let's go up instead of down this time. Let's see what we get up here. Yoink. Oh, well, we can get our way to the auxiliary tunnels from this way, then. Oh, maybe I'll just overcomplicating things. I do that sometimes. Although, it would be grand if I could look down. I hate ladders! Have I ever said this? I mean, if we drop too far, and I can't climb off here... Oh, okay, good. We just decided to drop again. Wonderful. I mean, I could easily jump to there, but would that break me? It's reasonably likely, but... Uh, I mean, can we just yank that off the wall? I mean, it looks like we could. Oh well, draw them out. Uh, uh, you know what they say, fuck puzzles. When in doubt, just jump and then give your nice chromatic aberration around the screen for a while. 
And some wibbly. I'm sorry, I've put the wibbly back in by being impatient and just jumping to my doom. Hopefully it's something I can fist to make myself feel better. <laughs> uh, that's gross. Alright. Oh, speaking of fisting. Yoink. Hello. I mean, I'm not even making that rude. I quite literally shove my fist in a weird orifice and it makes me feel better. <laughs> I mean, whatever works for you, man. Emergency flush. Direct all personnel to stand clear before releasing the flood lock. Uh oh. Guess we better peg it. Uh oh. What if the proxy can breathe underwater like I can? Guess we're about to find out. Also, how did that guy get there? No way did that big fat sack of shit make that jumping puzzle. I had finesse. You look like a bogey. Well, we made it out. Ugh. Come on, Simon. No point wasting around. Oh, we can fondle this guy. Let's hope only proxies don't come out. Hello. No heart. She just peed on him. She peed on you. We gotta get her out of there. Holy shit, heart blew up the O2 surplus. She sealed the tunnel. She really didn't want anchors following us to Omicron. Ah oh, shit, she's fucking hurt. Her suit is leaking. We have to get her to Omicron. Shit, it's bad, real bad. Oh fuck, no! Yeah, she dead. I guess they left her here. Also, wait, you did a great job blowing up that tunnel. I mean, you know, the one I came out of, as opposed to that, that one there, which I guess you could follow people through. Never mind. There's eyeballs and things. Is there supposed to be eyeballs and things? Or are they just supposed to be weird coloured things? Bloodborns may be suspicious of pretty much every eyeball ever. Oh well. This is very pretty. Isn't this nice? You've made it somewhere that... Let's find I guess we follow the blobs? <laughs> I guess being flushed out into deep space really does deep space deep sea doesn't really hurt too much. What are these like experiment things? Uh, whatever they are, they're not working. It's just about everything's so close, you know. I mean, shit. If this stuff was like 10, 20, 30 miles apart, this would be bad. Huff puff, huff puff. Alright, well... This looks promising. It has a biohazard warning. Hope they saved me a diving suit. Not the power failure, they didn't. Oh well, let's fondle this guy's balls and find out what happened to him. Strong side type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. Oh, so they kind of left the strong silent Jonesy here. Well, sorry, I couldn't follow your balls because you're not a dude, but, uh, on the plus side, you probably don't want him to go into that. Maybe being stuck out here in eternal sleep isn't so bad after all. Alright, well next time I guess we'll make our way into this biohazard quarantine asshole zone because, well, what else would go wrong? I mean, it's literally an A to Z of how to shit up your life. I mean, second Simon's life, who's hijacking a lady who's already dead, talking to a dead version of a f p computer lady who, I don't know, screwed up. Everything down here? Possibly, maybe? Who knows? Omicron! Let's go. Well, Omicron. I like. I added the N in there. Either way, thanks very much for watching. Peace out!